Hi there and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. It's a great time of year for bluebells, spring flowers, bird song and outdoor activities. But it's not a great time of year for doing the 10 day trend. And that's because signals for the forecast five to seven or 10 days ahead are particularly weak at this time of year. There are a number of reasons for that, but one primary reason is the lack of a significant temperature contrast across the northern hemisphere. It's relatively muted at this time of year. The seas are warming up. The cold air over the Arctic is also starting to disappear. So that temperature contrast, which normally fuels the jet stream, is weak. Therefore, we end up with a weak and meandering jet stream, which is the case over the next few days. Look how weak and meandering it is. It splits into various branches. Then those branches come together again. And really, it's all over the place by the time we get to the start of next week. There's one branch down here. There's one branch over the UK. One consistent theme, though, is that we start with the jet stream dipping to the south of the UK and we end up with the jet stream going to the north of the UK. And that tends to suggest the weather is going to become more settled through the next few days and into the start of next week. But not entirely dry and sunny. I must emphasise there will still be some showers around. Now, this is where we are at the time of recording, the jet stream dipping to the south. And within this dip, we've got an area of low pressure. What happens over the next few days with that low pressure? It begins to move away from the southwest of the UK into northern France and then eventually Denmark and it's losing its influence over the UK. In the meantime, higher pressure starts to extend from the Azores. This Azores high sometimes extends towards the UK and brings more settled weather and that's the case into the weekend. But we've still got lower pressure to the southeast and we've got this branch of the jet stream which picks up another low by the start of next week and starts to move that towards northwestern parts of the UK with the Azores high beginning to ebb away again. And by the start of next week, you'll notice how few isobars there are on the chart. So that will indicate that uh, it's going to be quite calm conditions, quite benign. But at the same time, with no significant high or low in charge, it's most likely going to be a situation of sunny spells, strong sunshine, rising the air, and some sharp showers around. But let's get back to the here and now and the start of the forecast, the time of recording. We've got that low pressure to the southwest, cool air surrounding that low. But this plume of warmth has wafted up across northern parts of Scotland. That's where the highest temperatures have been over the last couple of days or so. And in between the cool air and that low pressure and the warmer air over the far north of the UK, We've got this frontal boundary, which has been bringing persistent cloud and rain. And by the start of Thursday, that zone of cloud and outbreaks of rain will be across parts of Wales into the Midlands and East Anglia. And just to give you an idea of where the rainfall will be focused on Thursday, this is the six hour rainfall accumulations up to 6 p.m. So essentially it's Thursday afternoon's rainfall. And you can see how highly varied it is across the country, even from county to county. So the showery nature of the rain across South Wales, southern England as well, indicated by the speckled nature of the uh, rainfall totals here. Some areas, no rain at all. So if you're in Devon, for example, if you're in the south, no rain. If you're in the north, some very sharp showers. But so essentially, it's showers for many in the south. This zone of more persistent wet weather indicated across the Midlands into parts of Wales, are parts of northern England, including Lancashire and Derbyshire, for example. And then further north, Northern Ireland, also seeing quite a speckled pattern there, indicating sharp showers. Western Scotland, likewise, but very little rain for northern Scotland and eastern Scotland. And that just gives an impression of what the weather's going to be like for the next few days, certainly up to the start of next week. Hit and miss showers, some places staying dry with some warm sunshine in the far south, for example, eastern Scotland, northern Scotland, and away from any showers. But this zone of cloudy and damp weather still lingering across central parts with that old weather front, which is losing its identity as the low pressure starts to move away to the south and southeast later this week. Either way, a zone of cloudy skies through Wales, the Midlands, some outbreaks of rain by the start of Friday, but to the north, to the south, dry with clear spells, relatively mild conditions. Fast forward to Friday, and we've still got some sense of that weather front across central parts. That's going to provide a focus for 
showers. So again, Wales into the Midlands, East Anglia, some sharp showers or even some thunderstorms on Friday afternoon. Interspersed by sunny spells, yes, but the best of the sunshine will be along the south coast. Into the northeast of England, parts of eastern Scotland, still some low cloud affecting North Sea beaches and it's going to feel cooler here. But where we've got the sunshine elsewhere, temperatures into the low 20s, feeling very pleasant. And don't forget to cover up if you're spending time outdoors, of course, that sun is strong at this time of year. Here's the low. It is moving away into the weekend, but this front just about produces some lingering showers as it moves away. So the low is not going to disappear without fight. It is going to bring some heavy downpours into South Wales and Southern England later on Saturday and an area of cloud as well. But away from those showers, some sunny spells. The best of which will be across Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, Northern Scotland, some low clouds still affecting northeastern parts of the UK where it will feel much cooler. Otherwise, high teens, low 20s. And by Sunday, that system's out of the way. So a much brighter day for southern parts of the UK. Some long spells of warm sunshine in the south and southeast. Odd shower couldn't be uh, ruled out, but otherwise 22, 23 Celsius in the sunshine. A bit cloudier, a bit cooler towards the northwest bit more of an Atlantic influence by this stage. And likewise, into Monday, we've got some cloud around. We've got some showers still around, but nothing particularly noteworthy. Most places are going to be dry with some warm spells of sunshine, cooler on the North Sea coast, perhaps some low cloud. Warm where we've got the sunshine, 21, 22 Celsius. And this is where we've got the higher pressure influence that higher pressure to the southwest, extending mostly fine weather to the UK on Monday, but low pressure is arriving into Iceland. And so that could well send its weather fronts to bring some thicker cloud and some rain into the far northwest into the start of next week. Where do we go from here? Well, the signals, as I mentioned, are very weak because of that slowly meandering jet stream and these weak drifting low pressure systems. But on balance, it looks like higher pressure is more likely to be close to the UK than lower pressure. This shows the pattern for the next two weeks, whether it's higher pressure in control or lower pressure in control. And the boxes are coloured blue for low and red for high, green for somewhere in between for the next two weeks. The most recent model run is on the top with previous model runs listed below. And what you can see is that through next week, we switch from the blues that we've got at the moment the low pressure nearby, to the greens, neither low or high through the weekend. And then into the middle of next week, it's favouring reds. Not a strong signal for reds, but what it is suggesting is that we're more likely to have higher pressure close to the UK than lower pressure. The main question marks are where that high will be and whether any lows do eventually come along and bring some more unsettled weather. This is the most likely weather pattern for Tuesday the 21st of May. Similar to Monday, it's got that higher pressure extending from the southwest, so mostly fine into southern parts of the country. Low pressure over Iceland, bringing some cloud and perhaps some rain into the far north and northwest, but nothing particularly wet or unsettled. Likewise, nothing particularly widely dry and hot and sunny, something in between, so mostly fine, but some showers about, especially towards the north. Then by the time we get to Thursday, the signals are starting to diverge in terms of where that high pressure and low pressure will end up. The first low moves into Scandinavia. And the most likely chart here from the European model output is that lower pressure will arrive again from the Atlantic, a fairly weak low, and bring once again some cloud and some bits of rain into the far northwest, whilst higher pressure remains to the south. But another scenario that is popping up in some of the output is for the initial low to sink south over the UK, again as a weak feature, but to bring some cloud and some showers in from the north or perhaps from the east. So in both of those scenarios, we've still got higher pressure nearby to the south and southwest, but they both also indicate lower pressure beginning to influence things a little, either from the west or from the north or the east. And really, as we go forward into Saturday, the 25th of May, again, this signal for higher pressure to be close to the UK, in this instance to the west, with nothing particularly over the UK, whether it's high or low pressure. And then this is a less likely scenario with higher pressure to the southwest and lower pressure once again moving through Iceland to bring 
some more changeable conditions to the north. So how do we make sense of all these different signals? I would say look at the general themes and one thing that's standing out is that, yes, higher pressure is more likely to be close to the UK than lower pressure, but it's unlikely to be sitting directly over the UK. It's unlikely to be dominating things. And also, the temperature anomaly across all the model output is positive. So we're more likely to have warmer than average temperatures than colder than average. And this shows the Met Office output, warmer than average shown by the reds there. This shows the European model output, warmer than average, both by day and by night. And so to sum it up really for next week, we're looking at some warm sunshine, higher than average temperatures, more likely than lower than average temperatures, higher pressure nearby, certainly at first, but always this chance that these weak lows will begin to drift in and still bring us some showers. However, there's no signal for anything as unsettled as we've seen so frequently during the last few weeks and months. So if I was to sum it up in a few words, sunny spells and showers. Of course, we'll keep you updated right here at the Met Office on the day-to-day -day detail as it becomes clearer as we get closer to the time. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay across all those updates. Bye-bye.